I am here today with Fraser. Tom Fraser, it is so great to see you today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Great to see you, Gloria. Yeah. So, Fraser, you and I started working together just a little under two years ago. I think it was 22 months ago now, right? It, uh, yeah, a, a year past August. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so, where were you at when we first met and started working together? Um, I was, my back was against the wall. Okay. I was in a situation. So I had been, been a coach, um, in, in the space for about three years. I had some success along the way and had some, some failures as well. Um, and at the time that I met you, I was struggling and I was just about to move house at the time. My business was, was quiet, let's say, and my back was against the wall financially. So it was one of those moments where something had to really change. Right. And I remember you had a goal when we first, when we had our first session and we went through, you know, where do you want to get to? What was your goal at the time? Well, I said to you when I met you that my goal, which had been a goal for quite a while, was to earn a consistent 10K a month. Mm -hmm. That was always my goal. It had been my goal for, for quite a few years. But that's a goal that lots of people tell you, right? 10K, it's kind of a magic number when you've not really had consistent success. There had been some months I had been close to that, but then it would go down to zero. Right. But I also said to you, if I can hit 5K a month, $5,000, that would be massive for me. If I can consistently do that, I can live on this little Spanish island quite comfortably with 5K a month. And, and what I did you say to me? I said, oh, that's a piece of cake, right? Something Those were your exact words. That's a piece of cake. And I said, I kind of thought, I don't believe it, but okay, I'll take your word for it. And to me, I was like, 5000 a month? What? you got to be kidding me. That's it? You know, right. you're, paying, you're paying for this mentoring program and that's all you want to make? So, right. um, and I remember kind of laughing, you know. Um, so what happened? I mean, your life has changed pretty darn dramatically. And what would you say it was that changed for you? Well, I think two things. And, I, I, you know, the, the main reason we'll come to in a moment, because that, that's the most important thing. But there was something else that happened before that. And that was for me to, to kind of draw a line in the sand once and for all and say, I need this needs to change now. There had been yeah. many moments before that moment where I wanted it to change. I wanted my situation to get better, but I hadn't really drawn a line in the sand. That was the moment. I said to myself, I, I, was, I was moving house at the time. I had to find a chunk of money in order to move house, which I didn't have. So I had to borrow it from a friend. I also had to borrow, borrow the money to join your mentorship program from a very uncomfortable place. We don't need to talk about what that was, but I had to do it. And I decided to do it because it was my line in the sand moment when I said, enough is enough. I'm making this work. That was the first thing. The second thing was actually joining your mentorship program and, uh, and coming out to Arizona to the event, obviously. That was August I joined your program. The event was in September. Yes, yes, it was in September, yeah. Just a short while after joining the program, coming out to Arizona, uh, that event, meet, meeting you in person, and well, what was the event? You know, an energy shift. It was a massive shift in my energy. And everything changed after that event. Everything changed. And so you went from having this, you know, having your back up against the wall financially and, you know, having some good months, but then zero and then, you know, kind of up and down yo-yo. And so... Where would you describe, oh, and at the time, you were being a coach for other people's programs. Correct. So where are you now? Well, I was coaching for other people um, inconsistently. I was depending on those other people giving me leads, people to talk to. So some months was, were great, some months were terrible. Um, and I wasn't getting paid when I wasn't working and all of that stuff, right? Now I run my own coaching teams for other clients. So I've transitioned from a coach to the person who runs the coaching teams. And now I have around about 30 coaches working with me in uh, four or five different coaching teams. And when we started working together, that was not even, that was off your radar screening. And that wasn't even an idea in your consciousness, your awareness, right? Not at all. 
Yeah. And so you have this massive energy shift. You know, it's always interesting that we can always see changes in other people easier than we can see them in ourselves, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it was so easy for me to watch you just going through this massive transformation. And so that the event was in September. And was it by November that you got that message? It was, um, I think, just at the end of October. Okay. And things didn't, the message came through to, to with the, the possibility to work with this new client completely out of the blue. And it was February when we set the first thing up. Took a while to get things set up, but the, the first um, we, we, the first real work started in February. But coming, going to the event, standing with you and doing my own business presentation of what I thought my business was going to look like, my own coaching business, I'm going to create my own coaching program. I'm going to charge $3,000 for it. I'm going to, none of that happened. Right. None because of you it happened. Individual network marketers, right? <clears throat> that right. was the idea. Yeah. I would say it wasn't really what I wanted to do, but that's, that was the logical step for me was to, to branch out and sell my own coaching program because I knew I, I could put something together with your help, but yeah. I didn't really want to do that. That was kind of what I felt I should do and I had to do. That was the path I thought I had to follow. And then you know what happened? I went at the event, did the business presentation, got great feedback from you guys and had a massive shift in my energy, mm -hmm. which I wasn't expecting. Came home from that event and none of that happened and something completely different happened. Yeah, completely different and infinitely better for you, right? Infinitely better. Yeah. So it's so interesting when we raise our vibration and shift our energy, you know, like people, circumstances and events come to us. So as you shifted your energy, things of higher frequency vibration just came to you. And literally this message came totally out of the blue, as you said, it just came to you. And yeah. I love watching that happen in my own life, in my own business and in other people's businesses. It's just so fun, isn't it? So powerful. Well, yeah. You know, many things from that that weekend uh, stayed with me, but the most powerful thing was when you talk about being open to everything and attached to nothing. And at first when I heard that, I thought, well, oh, that's great. That's woo-woo stuff, right? What does that mean? You have to you have to be attached to something. You have to, you've got a business plan. You have, to, you have to get on with it and make it happen. But you see, what, what you do, right, you have to make things happen, but being open to everything, being open to the, the universe, providing something for you in a way that you least expect it was a real shift for me. And just being aware of the energy and coming home from that event. And when I came home from the event, I was coaching again, you know, doing what I was doing. My business went flat, like mm -hmm. quiet. I couldn't make a sale. The leads had dried up. It was quiet. And I just moved to my new house. I had this debt. But rather than being worried about it, because I am a warrior, yeah. <laughs> and being stressed to the max about it, I was totally calm. I knew that everything was just going to be fine. Everything was going to be okay. Something was about to happen. I could feel it. I didn't know what, and I didn't care. I just yeah. knew that everything was going to be all right. It was the most bizarre feeling for a stress, stress head like me to know <laughs> that something was happening, and, and it did one day. Yeah. Powerful. So where are you at today? Um, well, I set up my first coaching team back then um, with three coaches, I think, and that grew quite quickly to 12 coaches at one point. Now I've got, um, I say, four, four or five coaching teams. It's four stroke five. One is about to start. 30 coaches working in those teams. Uh, the 5K a month goal is long is since gone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to talk about specific numbers, as you know. Yeah. I, you know, I don't I don't brag about stuff like that at all. The money is not important anymore. Uh, well, it is important because we need money to pay our bills, right? And to sure. buy a house and to do all the stuff we want to do. But, right. uh, you know, I'm, I'm way beyond that 5K a month goal. Yeah. Absolutely crushing that. But the most important thing for me, and this is something that's been so powerful, is through this possibility... I was able to bring my sister in as a coach. Mm -hmm. Now, in the, that was just May last year. COVID had hit hard. 
She worked in a bar here. It was closed. She's got three kids. I was able to, she was able to then transition and become a coach. And she's now one of our top coaches and it's transformed her life. I mean, I get emotional thinking about it. And making way more money than she was working in a bar, right? Uh, some months more money than in perhaps in a year. Yeah. yeah. It's just unbelievable. And she, that was always like something that I wanted to do when I started out was to, how can you help family? How can you help the people that really matter? And I've been able to do that with Leslie in a way that I would never have expected would happen. And my girlfriend now works with me, um, does some, some work. My daughter also is involved a little bit. 30 other coaches, mm -hmm. some of them earning life-changing money. Yeah. You know, to get those messages from those guys who we've brought into coaching teams to say, hey, we've bought our dream home. Or Amazing. we just paid off all our debts or I've sacked my husband's boss or yeah, that's, that's what I live for now, you know? Yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. so fantastic. So what would you say to somebody who is maybe has their back up against the wall financially, right? Mm. Um, and they're looking at a mentoring program and they're like, Oh my gosh, this is so much money. Where's it ever going to come from? How's this ever going to happen? What would you say to them? Well, it's really interesting because I've joined mentoring programs in the past and many people that, that you know, that I know have also done the same thing. There are good ones out there, right? It will only work if you have a shift in your energy. Yeah. So, so often people ignore that. They think they've got to just get their head down and get the work done and learn from the experts and get the work done. Yes, you have to put in the work, but with having a shift in your energy and opening up your awareness and getting on a high vibration, because so many people are not, they're on a low vibration, low frequency, by shifting your energy and being attached to everything, open, open to everything and attached to nothing, nothing yeah. is, is the way forward. And I think that's what you obviously provide that I don't see out there from anyone else is the business mentorship, yes, because you do do that, of course. Yeah. But the energy work is so powerful. Absolutely. And I, I don't think you can, you can do it. People can do it, but I think it's way easier to do it, have a successful business if you do the, 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 the energy work with it. Oh, way absolutely. Easier. I mean, uh, you know, I think so many people think, oh, they've just got to learn the secret. They've got to learn Facebook ads, or they've got yeah. to learn you know, Instagram, or they've got to figure out how to make LinkedIn work, or they've got to figure out how to make YouTube work or something, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, as you and I both know, you know, every social media platform is going to change all the time. And you're going to constantly be relearning that with the energy piece. That is the, truly to me, that's the magical piece that changes everything forever. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's also a lot more fun. Because yes. when you get yourself in the right place, energetically, you get yourself on a higher vibration. Life is more fun. Isn't it meant, meant to be fun? Since working with you, um, and now obviously my, you know, Layla works with you, my daughter. Yeah. And she's, she joined you when she was 16 years old. To have access to someone like you who, yes, can help step by step, but raise your vibration, for goodness sake. This is meant to be fun. I've enjoyed every single step of it, every step of the way because it's been high vibration stuff and never wake up on a Monday morning thinking, Oh no, it's Monday. I've got to, you know, I've got this meeting and that meeting. It's meant to be fun. And that's what I found working with you that it's, it, it is that, you know? Yes, absolutely. Fraser, thank you so, so much. I so appreciate you sharing from your heart and sharing your personal journey. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.